Hi, this is David Davis from Actual Tech Media, and I'm here with Jeremy Brown, who's the founder of Thinware. How you doing, Jeremy? I'm good, David. How are you? Great. Great. So we've got some exciting news from Thinware to talk about. You have a brand new product that, that you've created, and it's about to be released in beta. Um, why don't you tell us about your new product, Jeremy? Uh, <clears throat> the new product is called V Migration Manager, and it's a virtual machine migration utility. So uh, <clears throat> if you're thinking about, well, wh why, why do I need to move a virtual machine? Well, that's, that's almost every day, right? If you need to, to service a host and you need to move a VM from one host to another, um, <clears throat> uh, maybe you need to do an upgrade. So you're upgrading, you're implementing a, uh, a, new, a new host, a new version of VMware ESXi, um, or, or maybe <clears throat> maybe you're simply adding an additional host to your environment and you want to better you know, spread the VMs across the host that you have. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the great thing about virtualization, it, it makes it so easy for administrators to you know, containerize their virtual machines and move them you know, around from host to host, like you said, for right. a lot of different reasons. So um, why, you know, this tool is designed with uh, efficiency and affordability in mind for, would you say, for smaller companies or, or budget-minded companies? Budget-minded companies yeah. or, or uh, again, those remote office, branch office implementations uh, or, or just kind of those one-off kind of uh, uh, short-term project type implementations as well. Okay. And I mean, I, I would think most VMware admins out there, their immediate reaction might be, well, I already have vMotion. Yes. You know, yeah. or, or I've heard of vMotion. Why, why do I need this? What, what's your answer to that common question? Well, um, this solution here is for when you don't have vMotion. Okay. Okay. So this works with the free version of ESXi. Okay. That's... It, it works with the Essentials edition of ESXi. Um, and, or the, it works with the Essentials edition of vSphere, and it also works with any of the other editions of, of ESXi when you don't have vCenter. Oh, yeah, that's, you make some great points there. I mean, so being able to do a vMotion and even storage vMotion if necessary um, with the free version of VMware vSphere, the free ESXi hypervisor, that's like big breaking news to me at least, that there's even a tool that makes that possible. Right. So uh, congratulations on a huge uh, innovation, really, being able to, to write a tool that can do that with free ESXi. And then you make another great point there that um, y you might not have vCenter in, in all cases, especially in remote offices where you just need to migrate VMs very quickly from, from one host to another host. Right. Um, so a lot of great uses for this new tool. And uh, why don't you go ahead and give us a little bit of demo on how it works. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, so this is uh, just the main interface here. So it's going to be, it has a list of all of the jobs that you've either run or that you've created and have not yet run. And, uh, and it's really simple. So uh, if we're going to, if we want to migrate a, a virtual machine from one host to another, we're going to simply uh, click on migrate virtual machine. Um, it does remember the host information that you type in, so you don't have to, you know, type all the host information in each time. You can just select one from the list. It will remember all the settings. Uh, we choose a command protocol, so we can use Thinware's SSH protocol, or we can use VMware's vSphere APIs for data protection if you're licensed for it. Uh, if, if we have a different port set up, we can choose that port. And since we, we know that this host is, is live and we've connected to it before, I'm not going to choose validate connectivity. And we provide the username and password to be used for this session. And it gives us a list of all of the virtual machines on that host. So let's choose, let's choose uh, this virtual machine here. We're going to move this over to another host. And uh, we're going to choose the destination host server now. So this is basic source and destination, just like a, a copy yeah. job, essentially. Exactly. We're yeah. moving a VM uh, from one host to the other host. Right. And this host here is also running um, uh, the vSphere hypervisor, or ESXi free is what most people call it. So we're going to use our SSH protocol. Now, what would happen if the virtual machine is powered on? 
Well, uh, we're going to see that. This okay. is actually for when the virtual machine is powered oh, okay. on. Okay, okay. So the VM uh, is powered on here. Right. So we want, uh, and that, that's kind of the whole premise here, is um, uh, it's service without downtime. So if we need to take one host down to service something hardware-wise, we can move the virtual machines off of it. And, and that's, that's really what vMotion does. But, yeah. but there are times when vMotion is not available, and, uh, and we have this tool as well. Very nice. Very nice. So we need to choose the data store that we're going to move it to. So we'll choose data store two. And now we need to now we need to tell it how to handle um, the the connection. So we can use a direct host to host connection, which that's going to be faster, but it requires um, an advanced setup. Or we can just simply use a temporary folder to proxy the data between the hosts. Okay. Um, we can leave the virtual machine files on the source data store so that, you know, if there is in the event something does happen, we can just leave them there. Um, <clears throat> or we can just set it to remove them when, it's, when the migration is completed. And now we set up how we're going to verify that that virtual machine was successfully moved. So we can either set it to ping a certain IP address um, automatically or we can test a, a TCP port um, or we can simply say I want an administrator to manually verify that this VM was migrated successfully right got it <clears throat> right so what I've done is I've, I've uh, gone ahead and I've created a job here earlier and uh, and I just set this job to, uh, to to not run at that time but to be set for run later I'm going to execute this job by right-clicking and clicking Start. Okay. And now we can go back to our, our, v -Center, our vSphere client and we can watch the virtual machine move from one host to another. So Jeremy, let me get this straight. We were able to move a running virtual machine from one ESXi host to another without any downtime to the end users using the Migration Manager. That's right. And not only that, we moved it from one ESXi host licensed with vSphere Hypervisor, or the free version of ESXi, to another host running the same license. Wow, that's, that's really incredible. That's the first time I've ever seen that possible. Any tool that can do that Right. with the, the free version of ESXi. And I see so many different use cases, like you said, moving workloads, uh, you know, consolidating performance. You know, if one host has too many VMs, move it to the other host, uh, repairing a host, replacing a host. Right. So many different use cases for uh, those shops out there that are using the free version of ESXi, or even shops that just don't have that host connected to vCenter or they don't have vCenter available. That's right. So, so it, it finished a long time ago, huh? but uh, here it is, and it's running. And as you can tell, it's still processing the data just like it should have been. Excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations on your new tool. Where can people go to find out more information about it? Uh, go to thinware.net and click on products, and there will be a link for V Migration Manager. And we'll put some more information out there about uh, uh, an upcoming uh, beta release and how you can get involved in that. Excellent. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you, David.